Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and in this video we will solve the problem number 2.16 from the chapter number 2. I am solving the problems from the NCERT physics part 1 of class 11. So you can see all the other solutions in the playlist given at the end of this video. Now let us solve this problem. So first of all let us understand what the problem says. Okay, the unit of length convenient on the atomic scale is known as the angstrom this is the unit of length in atomic scale that means whenever we want to measure some quantity in the atomic scale this angstrom unit is used and is denoted by this symbol angstrom and one angstrom is given this to be this is one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter the size of an hydrogen atom is 0.5 angstrom so 0.5 angstrom means 0.5 angstrom is the radius of this hydrogen atom so we have to find out what is the total volume in meter cube of a mole of hydrogen atom a mole means this is the one mole of hydrogen atom so here we have to understand what are the given quantities in one mole of hydrogen atom how many hydrogen atoms are there you have to first of all understand that so we know that the number of hydrogen atoms in one mole is equal to what is the one mole this is nothing but the avogadro's number so what is the avogadro's number 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 it does not have any unit because this is nothing but only a number so this much of hydrogen atoms are there or this many numbers of hydrogen atoms are there in one mole of hydrogen okay so we are given that the radius of the hydrogen atom is 0.5 angstrom now let us express it in meter unit we are given that one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 this much of meter therefore we can write it as so in the question it is given so the radius of hydrogen this is small r is equal to 0.5 angstrom this is given in the question 0.5 now if we want to express in meter unit we will have 10 to the power minus 10 meter multiplied with 10 to the power minus 10 meter because this is the one angstrom expression in meter now we have this much of atoms in one mole quantity and now we have got the radius of the hydrogen atom first of all what we have to do we have to find out the volume of one hydrogen atom suppose this is denoted by capital V so one mole we know that a atom is spherical in shape okay you have to remember this a atomic structure you can assume it to be spherical in shape that is at the nucleus we have proton plus neutron and surrounding we have the electrons and they are moving in some orbits so we can assume the hydrogen atomic structure is to be spherical the volume of a sphere you have to understand the or you have to remember the formula so the volume of a sphere is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube therefore we can write the volume of one hydrogen atom it to be 4 by 3 into pi pi means 3.14 into r so r is given as 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 10 this much of cube so this is 4 by 3 into 3.14 into 0 0.5 cube 0 0.5 cube into 10 to the power minus 30 okay now if we multiply we will get a value of 5.234 into 10 to the power minus 31 this much of meter cube why meter cube because we have expressed this is in meter unit and we have cube here so the volume unit will come in the meter cube so this is the volume of single hydrogen atom now we have to find out according to the question we have to find out the volume of one mole of hydrogen atom okay so in one mole of hydrogen atom we have capital n number of hydrogen atom and this is nothing but this is the avogadro's number this is capital n okay 
so we have to find out the volume of one mole of hydrogen atom therefore we can write this will be equal to suppose it is denoted by v prime this is for one mole of hydrogen atom the volume is denoted by v prime and we have to multiply the single hydrogen atom volume with the number of hydrogen atom in one mole so it will be multiplied with capital n so we have this v v value we have find out here this is the v value okay so here we have to put this value 5.234 into 10 to the power minus 31 into this n value n value is nothing but the Avogadro's number so Avogadro's number is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 okay so here we have to write 23 so here we will get the value to be 3.15243 into 10 to the power minus 7 this much of meter cube so because this n value is this is the dimensionless and v we have a unit of meter cube this is the solution of the problem number 2.16 from the chapter number 2 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you